Hey guys, how the hell are you? Welcome back once again to another episode of Mini Bottle Monday here at Arnold Drinks. My name is Arnold, and tonight, I drink. So tonight, my little mini bottle that I am sharing with you guys is the Whistler Double Oaked. So imagine my surprise. I didn't even know that the Whistler or any of the varieties of the Whistler actually came in little airplane bottles. And I just kind of happened upon this, honestly, yesterday. I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. I get to try a new one of the Whistler. And there's a little bit left over in there. Don't want to waste anything. So, this is 40% alcohol by volume. It is matured in ex-bourbon casks, and then from there transferred to, according to what the bottle says, the finest sherry casks for a little bit of extra sweetness on the finishing end of things. Let's give this Irish whiskey a try here. I liked the previous Whistler that I had tried, that PX I Love You that I had back in March. So let's see what this is all about. Mmm. Mm, not gonna lie, the aroma is a little bit underwhelming. It's a little difficult to pick stuff out, to be honest with you. Like, I'm getting a little bit of ethanol burn. Maybe a little bit of that apricot note, a little bit of, like, dried fig and honey. Maybe a little bit of melon in there, too but there's really not a lot that's going on with that aroma, unfortunately, which is a little surprising. Like I said, I really liked the previous Whistler that I've had, and this one's just not doing it for me on the aroma end of things. Going back in, I'm getting a little bit more of a berry note, but yeah, besides that, just not really a heck of a lot going on. So let's just go in for a sip. So thankfully there's a little bit more going on with the palette, but it's not a huge improvement. So we do have a little bit of those sort of dried fruits going on, uh, definitely a bit of honey that's in there, a little teeny tiny bit of butterscotch, vanilla, caramel thing that's going on there. The sherry finishing isn't really bringing a whole lot to the forefront in my opinion. It's not really giving me those super rich apricot and raspberry notes that I usually get on a lot of sherry finished whiskeys. So that's a little bit of a downer on this first sip. Let's go in for a second one. Like it has a unique sort of sharpness to it that I typically associate with uh, maturing in ex-bourbon casks. It's just got this weird sort of slightly bitter sharpness to it that, I don't know, doesn't really give way to anything in the case of this whiskey. I don't know, this is just kind of perplexing me a little bit. Like I'm getting a few basic notes, but it's not wowing me at all. Let's try again. So like a slight bit of like a sugary almond kind of treat in there, like sugars and almonds, maybe a hint of brown sugar, still with the honey sweetness though, and just a little bit of dark fruits, but I don't know, I just kind of feel like this isn't absolutely killing it like I really wanted it to. This is something that Admittedly, the fifth of this is for less than 30 bucks, so I wasn't expecting anything that was absolutely mind-blowing, but I was hoping that it was going to hit me the same way that the last Whistler did. You know, just something that, wow, that punches above its weight, and this one just kind of doesn't. Let's go in for one more sip just to see if anything changes. And honestly, more of the same. There's like a little bit of maybe a butter pecan note that's in there too. Slight bit of saltiness that's in there. Maybe a little bit of earthiness too on the back end on the finish. The finish itself is rather immediate. So I, that's definitely not a long finishing whiskey at all. 
it's pretty much just down the hatch and then it's just gone. I've got a little bit of dryness that's still up here in the cheeks, but nothing really that's lingering and lasting, to be honest with you. Eh, it, it is what it is. They can't all be winners. I feel like the Whistler Double Oaked is a bit of a dud, which is unfortunate. So maybe I can get my hands on a different Whistler and review that for you and my opinion will change. But as far as this one goes, nah, I won't be buying a bottle. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel. There's tons more of this content to come. And as always, remember, take what you do seriously, but do not take yourselves too seriously.